Good morning, everyone, and welcome to St. William's as we celebrate the feast day of the Annunciation of our Lord. Welcome to Mass. Welcome to Mass, which I'm celebrating once again in the empty church, but very conscious of you, the people of the parish, very conscious of so many people who throughout the world are praying, are uniting themselves with each other, above all, uniting themselves with the Church, with Our Lady, the Saints, and with our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. On this feast day, we're saying, with Mary, we are saying yes to God. God depended upon Mary saying yes when the angel brought God's message to Mary God waited God waited for her for her response for her faith for her love and of course because Mary was full of grace full of God's life, full of God's mercy, full of God's love, because God prepared her, because God filled Mary with the very life of God. So Mary, on our behalf, says yes to God. Let it be done to me according to your word. I'm your servant, Lord. The word was made flesh, the Word of God incarnate took flesh. The Word of God shares fully in our human life, in every part of life. And today we're calling upon God in a very special way, uniting ourselves with our Pope, our Bishop, our Diocese, Catholics throughout the world, our brothers and sisters of the other churches, we're uniting with them and we're going uh, at noon today, as called by the Holy Father, to pray together the prayer that our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ gave us. This is what unites us, this communal prayer. It is a communal prayer, but it's also a prayer that, that comes from our own hearts. With Mary, we say yes to God. With Mary, we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Let's pray that prayer today. Holy Father asks us to, at 12 noon, well, here for us, um, at 11 a.m. this morning, um, that's the time that the Pope himself will be praying in Rome. It will be 12 noon then. Let's pray that prayer and we will probably want to go on at that time to pray the Angelus Prayer, which day by day we say to say thank you to God for Jesus, who shares in every part of life. Lord, we pray today especially that you will share in the suffering of your world. Lord, show those who are suffering your mercy and your love, your healing, your joy and your hope. Strengthen those who are working together. Strengthen those who are caring for others. And bless each of us and our families. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. We celebrate Mass on the solemnity of the Annunciation of our Lord. Give thanks that in the womb of Mary, who said yes to God, the Word of God became incarnate, lived among us, died for us, and is risen from the dead. We acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. 
Lord, Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. You are the Son of God and the Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. You are the Word, made flesh the splendour of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who willed that your word should take on the reality of human flesh, in the womb of the Virgin Mary, grant, we pray, that we who confess our Redeemer to be God and man may merit to become partakers even in his divine nature, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Pray, dear friends, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Be pleased, Almighty God, to accept your church's offering so that she who is all aware that her beginnings lie in the incarnation of your only begotten Son may rejoice to celebrate his mysteries on this solemnity, who lives and reigns for ever and ever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the Virgin Mary heard with faith that the Christ was to be born among us and for our sake, by the overshadowing power of the Holy Spirit. Lovingly, she bore him in her immaculate womb, that the promises to the children of Israel might come about and the hope of nations be accomplished beyond all telling. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Let us pray. Confirm in our minds the mysteries of the true faith, we pray, O Lord, so that confessing that he who was conceived of the Virgin Mary is true God and true man, we may, through the saving power of his resurrection, 
merit to attain eternal joy through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May the holy angels protect you. Our blessed Lady, St. Joseph, and all the saints pray for you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace.